So what I wanted to remind us about today was how much are we really recognising that there's a simplicity about what John's been talking about. At the moment we can see things where he's saying, look, there's all this complexity of all these philosophies and ideas and they're bringing in all this stuff and John's saying, get back to the that basic stuff that I spoke to you about at the very beginning. Get back to who Jesus is. He is God. He's died on the cross. He's given his life for you. He's risen from the dead. The Spirit dwells in you. You know in your hearts when you're filled with the Spirit. But also, if you really want to test what is a true Christian, look at their life. Are they living a life that is that which Christ would have lived out, loving your brother, loving one another? And so some of these things, sometimes life can get really complicated. We can think it's all theology and understanding scripture and all these things are wonderful to help us get founded in the truth. But sometimes it can go a bit wrong, get a bit kind of complicated and confusing. And we lose the simplicity of loving God, worshipping him, giving our lives for him day by day. So this is what John's been talking about. And now he's been talking about love. He's talking about the power of love, God's love for us, the motivation of love, the children of God. We are loved of the Father. That's what motivates us. It's not fear. It's not worry about whether we're doing it right. But it's we know that we are loved. And the Spirit is in us to reveal that love to us. And we're able to pass that love on, as it were, to others. So keep it simple.